We're here at O'Shaughnessy Stadium on the campus of the University of St. Thomas after the Tommies defeated Bethel by the score of 37-0. And we're here with Harry Patera, a junior uh, linebacker for the Tommies. Uh, you guys obviously had a spectacular first half defensively and then a pretty good second half as well in shutting these guys out today. How, how did that uh, come about for you guys? Well, you know, we always preach finishing strong. We want, you know, we go in at halftime, we always say the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. And, you know, we, to come out here and add, uh, final scores, add 13 more, so that's played huge because we know Bethel's not a team, it's not a program just to give up and fold. So we know he's just got to keep going strong. And um, so we were, we were able to, with the pressure and with defensive schemes, we able to get some turnovers in the second half that played a big part in the win. But you guys were had to be pretty fresh at the half, too. You were only on the field for about seven and a half minutes. In the first Absolutely. Half. Offense did a great job. They controlled the ball. They, I think they had 22, 22 times that was 22 minutes for them. And so that played huge. That was a huge part. You know, we were on the bench relaxing, getting some water while, you know, offense was taking care of work. So, uh, then we were able to get on the field. We were fresh, and you know we weren't weren't uh, tired out. So that played a big part too. Uh, your coach Glenn Caruso has said several times over the past couple of years that you guys really like to line up against Bethel because it's always been you know mm -hmm. real smash mouth football. Absolutely, you know. Uh, uh, with Bethel, I mean, they, they're just a run-it-down-your-mouth type of football team. They're just going to outman you or try to, you know, today. So, you know, as a linebacker, you know, I, I, I look forward to those games, too. And as a program, I think it you know, exemplifies a lot, of the, a lot of things that we care about, you know, hard work, discipline. And uh, our game plan today for defense was, you know, quite a lot of discipline, a lot of, you know, right reads. So that was a, obviously a play to big factor also. Obviously, we're more than halfway through the season now, almost about the two-thirds point. This mm -hmm. was a year where, you know, uh, St. Thomas had lost a lot of its big stars on right. offense, and we kind of figured that you have to look to the defense to carry you guys early, and it looks like it hasn't been a problem. No, I mean, we lose, with this program, we lose a lot of guys every year, you know, to graduations, but we don't know how we're going to replace them, but just someone always steps up. Guys like Tremaine Williams and then guys Luke Marks coming in from the transfer, so... Um, on paper, yeah, it might, it might lose the guys, but you know, our depth allows us to uh, be solid across the board. And there's been a lot of, there was a lot of talk, there was a story in the uh, Star Tribune a couple weeks ago about how since the MIC changed its rules about how it uh, deals with redshirt players transferring in, that it uh, makes it a little more attractive for transfers, and I know you're a, a transfer as well. That uh, Have you seen that uh, influx of players help St. Thomas? Oh, absolutely, no doubt. Even in my first year, it played a big part in my player, my own individual development, learning guy, learning from guys like Zach Sturm and uh, the transfers from St. Cloud and uh, Brady Irvin, Brian Villar, who are some transfers. So um, my own personal development played a big part in our own team. To get where we want to go, those guys paved the way for us, and that, that rule plays a big part in this uh, the evolution of you know, where we are today. He's Harry Patera, a linebacker for St. Thomas. The uh, number four ranked Tommies defeated ninth ranked Bethel this afternoon by the score of 37 to nothing.